for a shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that taught us his truth. Salutes to you, our and teaching his word to the elect in truth and sincerity. All right, this is Isa from GMS England, London, UK. And um, yeah, this one, I uh, just want to speak about, um, you know, the temptations, man. So, you know, because, you know, brothers go through them. You know, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, uh, you know, people, would, you know, hey, the brothers and the men of the Lord will, will experience and face, man, you know, and, um, you know, we're in this faith, in this truth. And, and, you know, when these things happen, you know, we, you know, we got to understand that it's because, you know, you know, of who we are, man, you know, what we're involved in and what we're doing. Like, this isn't just no, no joke. Especially up in, in the heavens, man, in this, in this, you know, in the heavens, you know, what we're doing down here is not a light thing. It's not no joke, right? People walk by on the street, wherever brothers are at teaching, and they might just laugh and, <laughs> and scoff and think this is, you know, you know, a, a bunch of jokes and giggles and games and that. But it's not that far from that, man. That's the furthest thing from the truth. When we're out there, this is some ser serious, uh, um, you know, important spiritual business and matters that we're doing, you know, which, you know, through the spirit, I'm going to get a, a scripture scene, as I said, that just to show you, man, you know, that this is, um that, you know, people kind of, you know, they don't really know what they're seeing when they see, you know, brothers teaching like that, man, how powerful it is. This is 1 Corinthians 1 and verse, I'll start at 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You see that? So the preaching of the cross of this truth of the gospel of, of Yahweh Shai, okay, you know, those that aren't of the elect, that aren't chosen to be saved well what we're doing teaching this word preaching that's foolishness to them all right we know that why because some of the things that they'll tell us oh you guys are wasting your time you guys you you ain't got the truth you know uh you know the bible ain't real you should be getting your money up yeah you should be yeah getting your money up that's what our people say man a lot of people come out they say that and they scoff and they mock but that's because they don't have the blessing of faith. They don't have the gift of faith to believe. They don't see the truth. So they would rather go and put their time in something carnal, which is ultimately going to uh, come to nothing. It's, it's in vain. Because the end of this place is judgment, is destruction. We're seeing it. We're seeing this kingdom crumble now. So really, they ain't as wise as they think they are. Okay? Because really, because what, what it says, but unto us which are saved... It is the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is a powerful thing that we got, that we're doing, that the Lord has guided us to. It's not of ourselves; it's of the Lord. Okay, because all this, everything that's happening was was is is because of the word of the Lord. That's how powerful it is, and, and we're teaching that. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is in us to do this. Okay, Lord willing, we we be of that elect. Okay, now it says, for it is written. I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Okay, that's what's happening, man. These people that were so, oh yeah, you know, you know, you know, go into the clubs, be, you know, be an entrepreneur, go, go here, go there, you know, all these trips. What was it? Round the world trips, but they're shutting down, you know, all these um flights, man, all these plane flights, you know, all these lockdowns, all these, you know, pandemic times, man. So what are people saying now? Okay, normally what, what happens when that MOTB comes, when these prophecies are in a full effect, these people, they, what are they going to do then? They're going to be stuck. Don't know what to do. Don't have a clue. All right, but who's going to have the understanding, the, the, the wisdom, and who's going to be saved? The elect, the ones that took heed to this word. All right, it says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the dispute of this world? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? Yeah, so yeah, uh, you know, going um, 
getting a, your degree at university and going and, you know, making yourself somebody in the world and, you know, trying to save the world. And that's all, like, that's, that's, you know, hey man, that's all BS. You know, that's not how things are going to be going in this world, man. This world is headed for judgment. All right. But it says, for after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. So yeah, these people, they, you know, I want to say, oh, I got a close relationship with, with the Lord. No, nah, man, nah, that's not actually what it is. What they're saying really is, is their relationship with, you know, uh, Satan, you know, because that's who, you know, they follow. You know, they want to do what they want to do. They want to do their own work. They don't want to obey the, the um, you know, the words of the Lord. They don't want to, uh, you know, take heed to the truth. All right. They think they're so wise and really, you know, what they're under is, is, is do as thou wilt. That satanic doctrine. They want to do what they want to do. All right. Which the Lord is not with that. Okay. It says it pleased the most high. By the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So it pleases the Lord by the foolishness of preaching. So like I was saying, the point earlier that these people, they see us teaching on the highways and byways on the streets preaching. And that's foolishness right, to them. And, and really the, the Lord, he doesn't have to have us doing that. But he wants us doing that because it pleased him. You know, it pleases him to, to, to see that, you know, men on the, on the you know, the corners on the highways and byways, on the streets, open places, teaching, you know, doing this, this work, showing that faith, standing bold, all right? The Lord has written this script like this. It's his movie. Okay. Um, what does the scripture say when it's, it says, uh, we are a spectacle? Okay. So yeah, we are out there, you know, and and we, yeah, the Lord wants it that way. We are out there, man, you know. So when you walk by these people and they're thinking all types of things in their mind, I right, cool, that's fine, man. You know, they want to scoff, they want to whatever. But the scripture says that there's no, uh, you know, thought that can be hid from the Lord. You know, every idle word that men speak, they shall give it a, a account in the day of judgment. So all right, man, that's fine. People want to scoff, they don't want to believe, they don't want to take heed. We'll see how they end up, what their end will be. Okay, because we only care about the elect. We only care about the ones that can get this truth, the ones that are going to be saved. Uh, this is First Corinthians four and nine. For I think that the most I have set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were, appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels and to men. So yeah, this truth has come at this crucial time, man, when it needed to come. All right, at the at the last, man, all these movements done came and went, failed. You know, uh, struggling, <laughs> you know, trying to make a comeback and a come up. But they're all done, man. They had a time and now they're gone. The truth is what's rising, man. The truth is what's here to stay and stand. All right. Which we get from our apostles of Great Millstone, man. You know. And it says, as it were, appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle. So, yeah, a spectacle is something that you look at, that you see. Okay. You know, we out there teaching you know, in our garments and, and preach with the Bibles and, the, you know, people are looking at us in, in like, wow, their eyes wide open when they're walking by, you know, but because why we're, we're there for people to look at. We can, we're right in the open. It says unto the world and to angels and to men. So going to my point, I was talking about earlier, what we're doing is not a light thing in the heavens, man. What we're doing is looked at highly in the heavens, you know? The angels watch us and they're in like, wow, like, look what they're doing. You know, the most high, he's pleased with what we're doing. You know? So, and this is all going to lead to salvation. Man. The great, great salvation. And you see, I, I was going to go into another kind of topic, but the spirit just kind of had me just go into this, man. You know? And, um, hey, you know, I just want to, hey, Lord willing, keep flowing, man. So I'm going to, you know, get a few more scriptures before I close this out. All right, this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Get your money up, though. You know, go and, you know, ride, you know, you know, go ride out. I don't know, get on the grind. 
I don't know, you know these, you know, um, slogans and phrases that Jake uses, you know, are people using that? But even though, you know, getting money is, is all right. You, like if you got certain money, you know, or the Lord's blessed you with certain income, that's good. You know, if you know you help out and, and it's good because the money, the script says the money is a defense. So it's not wicked that if the Lord, you know, uh, allows you to, you know, get a blessing man with some income or whatever. But the thing is, it's about not having your mind all into it, you know, because this is all temporary. So it's it's not about laying treasures on earth, man. You know, this is a temporary time. This is a wicked time, man. We're going to get our riches and our rewards in righteousness from the Lord in, in uh, the kingdom, right? Now it says, where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. So anything you gain... In this world, anything you store up, any uh, material riches or anything, it can get broken, wear and tear. You want to wear the nice fabrics, the nice soft clothing, all of that's nice stuff, the delicate stuff and all the drippy drip, the saucy apparel, you know. You know, it, but at the end of the day, you you know, you got to understand those things, you know, they get old, they get withered. You know, you, you want a car, car breaks down, you know. So having all like 10 different cars, 20 cars and, and all of that, man, come on, man, you know. And, and and not to mention if things can get stolen, taken from you. And that happens all too often in this place, man. You know, <laughs> hey, this earth is a full, man, full of a bunch of thieves in this earth, man. You know, I've seen that, man, you know, so... Yeah, man, you know, it's, we're not about like laying up treasures on earth, man. But what does it say that we are to you? It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Yeah, lay up treasures in heaven. Okay. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So how do you lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven? All right. By seeking the Lord and doing the righteous work, man. Okay. Keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes as best as you can. Repent. All right. You know, deal rightly, man, with, with the brothers, the men of the Lord. All right. And doing that which is pleasing unto the Lord, man. Okay. Doing these works, man. You know, because, hey, that's like brothers mentioned that spiritual bank account, man. You know, you doing these videos, you going out to the highways and byways, you know, preaching out in the public, in the open. You know, you serving and worshiping the Lord without fear, man, you know, um, of these people. You know, they, these are these are things, man, that are going to lead to our salvation and lead to th those times in, in where we need salvation and, and deliverance. The Lord is going to remember, man. The scripture says he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, man, that, you know, your work and labor of love, roughly quoting. So the Lord's going to come through and, and ultimately, hey, we're going to have our place in the kingdom of heaven. OK, we're going to have, uh, you know, that. See on the chariot, man, to be delivered from that destruction. Now, who can take that from you? If you be of the elect and the Lord has that uh, in your path, who can take that from you? These are tre uh, treasures in heaven, man. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. All right. This earth is done, man. You know, <laughs> the, the women, the, the, the food, the men, the, the, everything. So hey, we gotta be seeking the kingdom to come. All right. Um, I'm gonna close with this last scripture. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah, that spiritual sleep. You know, we've got to be, you know, uh, alert, okay, and um, in the spirit, all right, in this truth, okay? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, all right? So, yeah, because things are happening. It, it, prophecies are, are popping off. Soon the Lord's going to return, man, and we're going to receive a reward, man. You know, let, let's get that. Let's get our revelations. Revelations 22 and 12. And behold, 
I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Yeah, exactly. The Lord's going to have, you know, a reward, man, for his men. I right? reward for the elect. All right. And it says he comes quickly. All right? hey, the Lord is going to be on. The, hey, he's going to return soon, man. OK. And those, you know, uh, you know, that have waited on the Lord, that have, you know, followed the Lord. Man, he's gonna they're gonna receive the mercy, man. Alright. They're gonna be blessed, man. So I'm gonna end it there. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Waharaka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh yeah, with that, uh, I'll end it there, man. I say shalom to the elect, shalom.